loves welcome back to a new video so today we're gonna be doing a little chill with me q a we're also gonna have a little mask session you guys know i love my skincare and i'm all about skin 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 i haven't done a q a in so long so i thought this would be the perfect time to do one and thank you so much to teamy for sponsoring today's video so i tried the teamy detox mask it has matcha lemongrass and clay so this formula helps to bring the impurities to the surface of your skin whilst also replenishing your skin with necessary superfood nutrients i love that it's so gentle so it's good for all skin types it is also cruelty free which i'm all about vegan it doesn't have alcohol parabens synthetic dyes harmful chemicals or gluten it's a plant-based formula so it's so so gentle on the skin you can actually use this one to four times a week and this stuff just leaves your skin feeling super soft renewed and just cleansed overall i also love how hydrating this is you guys know your girl has really dry skin yeah we're gonna do a little mask session with this while i answer your questions so i did ask you guys on instagram if you had any questions so we'll go through those in today's video whilst putting a cute mask on i also do have a little teamy mask applicator which is just gonna help me get an even layer i'm just gonna put my hair back guys it smells amazing too it just smells really spa like very natural and i love these more fresh subtle scents rather than empowering perfumes you know but i love this brush because you can get a really nice even layer how satisfying is that though so my skin's already um clean and you can dampen your face with a bit of water before doing this i just like to apply it straight on i really want to get the nose okay and i also do have a code which is anushka20 and you'll get 20 percent off a minimum purchase total of 29 dollars i leave my code and a link in the info box if you guys want to grab this mask and you will not regret it okay so let's jump onto the first question I get this question asked all the time and I can't say that I'm someone that really manages their time well but I'm just really dedicated so like if I want to film I love I want to film so bad that I will make the effort to wake up super early in the morning or stay up super late it's not the best of the best but you know the grind just never stops and you just need to keep on working and that's the mindset i have whilst i was in the office i would also take some of my annual leave days off for like events or if i had like a really busy filming day i would take leave on for those too i haven't been in the office for over a year and i've been at home which has been really helpful like to wake up earlier to film and stuff or even later because i know i'm at home but when i was in the office i would still wake up at like 5 6 a.m to film before work um to make sure i had content for you guys and it's just i feel like it's really dedication and just the pure love of it from like my heart like i just love making videos it just makes me happy <laughs> I just don't. I just delete and block. That's all I do. Block Instagram. Block. 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 Do some of them get to me? Sometimes I'm just like, you know, I'm a human being. Some of them are just so mean, and I'm just like, you seriously have some issues, you know? Because to be leaving a whole paragraph on a person you don't even know, like that's deep. Like I just feel bad for you, and I hope good things come your way, you know. But I just block and delete. Honestly, I was nervous at first, but now that I've been out and about a bit, I'm feeling a bit better. I've booked some plans with my friends and stuff, which I'm really excited about. Here in the UK, you can only go out and eat out outside in restaurants, and that's the thing I'm most excited about, is just to be able to walk around in London, go do a bit of shopping, have good food and stuff, but you can only eat outside, and it's cold. So we're kind of waiting till we can actually sit indoors, but also till it's warmer. I don't mind sitting outdoors, but it has to be at least a bit warm, not me freezing my butt off, okay? So yeah, I feel okay about it. Like when we, we have to get back to normal life someday, you know, I've, I've, I've thoroughly enjoyed working from home, making the most of that. I do miss being with my friends and going out to eat. I won't say I miss going to events. I don't know how I feel. Like I, it's, events hasn't been something that I've missed. They give me proper anxiety. I have answered this before but in case you're new on my channel we actually met when we were like 15 in school so it's been a long time i'm like 25 now oh my god guys like i'm gonna be completely honest and real with you your girl has put on like 10 kilos okay some of you have noticed and left in very mean comments but you know it's okay it's okay i have to be easy on myself okay we've been through a pandemic i've been at home every day and throughout most of 2020 i wasn't working out now i'm back on my fitness journey but you know with the 10 kg 
on that I have. None of my work clothes fit me anymore. Um, and instead of just finding that depressing, oh well, I know I'll get back to the where I want to be, but I need to buy some more clothes that fit me and that are not tight because I sit down all day. And the worst thing is having tight trousers digging into your belly for eight hours, like the worst thing. I don't know, let me know in the comments below if you want to see a workwear video. I haven't done a clothing haul in a while on my channel, so let me know. Are you talking about this coral nail polish? Um, it's really pretty. I've had a few compliments on it. This is by Beatles on Amazon. It basically comes in a set and there's like a really pretty coral shade in there. So I'll link it in the info box if you guys want, are interested in grabbing it. Like the color, the set has really pretty colors, like summery colors in there. Like I said, your girl has put on 10 kilos, but you know, also, I've been focusing more on muscle gain, so like I feel like that weight gain plays in a little bit. But yeah, I've been working out every day, mostly every day, like f at least four times a week. One of my biggest goals this year is to just feel stronger and just get toned. Um, so I, I know I'll get there. I know I've done it before and I can do it again. It's just the pandemic got in the way and uh, threw me off track a little bit. But all you can do when you're in times like this is just pick yourself up and get back on track. That's all you can do. So there's no point in beating yourself up about it. Like, I find that mirrors are very triggering for me, but, you know, I put the mirror there, I look at myself and I'm like, okay, maybe you're not completely happy with what you see right now, but you can get back on track, eat healthier, but I do eat things that I like in moderation and just work out, move more. We need to be kinder to ourselves and I try to remind myself that. I My friends constantly remind me too because I keep moaning to them, but we're human, we're human. <laughs> I'm a cancer. All my cancer babies leave a crab in the comments below. I don't mind this question because I'm quite an open book, but I just want to put out there like asking someone about if they're having babies or not is not the best thing. You just you just don't know what that person is going through, like for real, for real. Like you don't know if they, they want kids or if they've seriously been struggling and it's just super emotional for them and really hard to talk about. But for me personally, not anytime soon. I always said that I would have five kids by this age, but you know, life just didn't happen like that. You know, that's so unrealistic. I don't know when I'm gonna have kids and I'm in a rush, honestly. Feeling really good, thank you for asking. I know during the pandemic it's definitely been hard times for some people out there, but I hope you're doing really well as well. <laughs> Workout, that is like my go-to. Before my coping mechanism was eating, like I'm not gonna lie to you guys, like straight off binge eating, but I've tried to refocus that energy to working out, which is more uh, like a healthier route and it really just helps me burn off that energy even if like i'm so, i feel so shit i've cried all day and everything like go for a workout and you'll just feel you one thing you have to remember like when you do a workout you will never regret doing it like you'll never say oh i regret doing that workout like you just feel so good afterwards another thing i love to do is just a cute pamper session like sit down do my nails put a mask on like today watch put a show on at the same time honestly it's like the most chilled thing ever and it's it may, it's so therapeutic honestly wow thank you so much you know thank you you guys are so sweet honestly i love you guys so much if you don't follow me on instagram you won't know that i uh recently bought a weighted hula hoop and i've been showing it on my stories and stuff if you don't follow me on instagram you should follow me on there because i do post a lot of my stories and stuff um and yeah i haven't been doing it long enough and i haven't been doing it every day to see any results but it's fun i just like doing it i find it fun so every now and then i'll just finish off a workout by doing like five minutes or ten minutes of hula hooping and it's so fun honestly Oh my god guys, this one is such a hard one, but I don't know. To be honest, right now I've been reaching a lot for my Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation in 4W. But I also love the Fenty Skin Tint in the shade 14. That's not foundation, but it looks like a foundation. It's so beautiful. I feel like those will be my top two in summertime for sure. They're really nice. And those are the two that I've been recently reaching out for a lot. <laughs> You got me dreaming, you got me dreaming. Oh my god, I've been dreaming for a holiday like this whole time. I really want to go travel, I don't know. I was looking at Bora Bora trips like just dreaming away, you know, but there was literally no tickets for this year. And honestly, I don't want to travel anytime this year, to be honest, during a pandemic. It just doesn't make sense to me. 
so um yeah when things really get back to normal maybe end of 2022 or 2023 i'll be able to save and like book a really nice lux holiday but i i really want to either go to like bora bora miami i feel like those are my in my top two oh my god guys this is like not even a hard question the most favorite thing i bake and i've made so many times is my cornflake brownies and the recipes from cupcake Gemma. cornflake brownies are the most beautiful thing i've ever eaten and i literally could eat the whole tray but i tried to be good last time and i was eating it slowly but it's so good it's so good it's chewy it's brownies got cornflake caramel brownies like it's just so yum guys <laughs> I really feel you I really feel you honestly but I actually went on a chocolate ban recently in March the whole of March I didn't eat chocolate it was the hardest thing ever honestly but it also taught me discipline and to kind of like defer away from it because I was eating loads every day the, the thing about banning chocolate was not helpful at all because I was just buying donuts without chocolate and just eating other junk food but I just feel like the best way to teach yourself discipline is to just limit yourself to like one bar a day um, or one uh, or like three chocolate squares a day limit yourself and stick to that and it really helps and that's what I do I have like a Kinder Bueno a day <laughs> it's like my peak I had four sessions of laser on my face they do recommend around eight I do have a way less hair than before guys I'm telling you right now but there's still peach fuzz and I shave that off because I want silky smooth skin and my makeup just sits perfectly on top when it's like shaved. But uh, I'll probably get a few uh, sessions for my face. Right now I'm doing my underarms, my full legs and my Hollywood bit, <laughs> that Hollywood bikini area. It's painful. Ooh, looks like lizard skin. <laughs> How satisfying is that? I'm gonna go and rinse this off with a wet towel and I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. Look at the skin, it's so soft and glowy. I've put a little bit of moisturizer on. I actually prefer to do this at night time and you can just follow up with the rest of your skincare routine but my skin feels so soft. But yeah guys, I definitely recommend the Teamy Detox Mask to you guys. Don't forget to check out the coupon code in the info box if you do wanna grab one. Let me know how you get on with it. I hope you enjoyed this little Q&A video. Please give this video a thumbs up because it really helps your girl out and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.